Let's talk about two other very useful cursor helper methods, namely two array and for each. Those methods are very commonly used when working with a MongoDB server through the driver. So let's discuss them. Cursor dot to array. This method iterates whole cursor till the end, exhausts it, and this method returns an array. Array of objects. Next method for each also iterates the cursor till the end, but it can perform some operations with each document. That's why it requires an argument that is a function. And in the function you can specify which actions you want to perform with each document in the cursor. Again, both methods exhaust the cursor. And if the cursor is too large, for example, a couple of thousands of documents, it may take some time to perform such operation convert cursor to array or perform operations with each document in the cursor. Let's look at those methods in action and switch to Robo3T. Double click on cursor collection, perform default operation find and again as before just assign cursor to the variable. Let's start from the toArray method. Just type cursor.toArray and empty parentheses. And let's execute this command. As a result of this operation, we got an array. Array of objects. So each object represents one document. Here is the start of array. Let's scroll down. And here is the end of the array. And you see that all documents in our cursor collection that match this request were pushed to this array and array was returned back. Ok, let's remove it, command enter and let's go to for each method. Just type cursor dot for each. Remember that this for each method requires a function as an argument. There is a built-in function called printJSON. We can use it to print each document in the cursor. Let's execute this. Command Enter. And you see that we have just printed each document in a JSON format. Let's look at the contents of this function. So just remove this line and paste just print json and command enter and we see this function in a string format so it's just a function that requires one argument and it prints converted to json this argument if we pass this function as an argument to for each method x will be replaced with a document each document while we iterate through the cursor. Again, if we use cursor dot for each and use print JSON function, print JSON function will receive as an X each document in the cursor one by one till the end of the cursor. Let's create some custom function and pass it as an argument to for each method. Let's remove this line, command enter. And now I want to create a custom function that will just print a string for each document. String, the index of the document is and index of each document. Let's do this, just use for each method. And then I will create a custom arrow function and pass it immediately to the for each method dog arrow function and print and here index of the 
doc is doc.index. So here it is. So what happens here? I use ECMAScript 6 syntax with the arrow function here and I construct also a string using backticks and here as a reference I refer to the index field of the doc and doc will represent each document in the cursor while we iterate through each document in the cursor. As a result, we should get list of strings that start with the same part index of the doc is and here should be different index numbers that are taken from the index field of each document. So let's execute this command enter. So here it is. Index of the doc is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 100. As you see, you can use full power of the JavaScript to perform operations with the documents of the MongoDB database. Next, we will talk about other helper methods such as count, skip and limit. See you shortly.